What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I wanna talk about the toy haulers because it's desert season, kinda sorta, and a lot of you guys have asked me, hey, would you buy an Attitude again? What would you go with? Um, you know, do, would you go with a motorhome? You know, what are your thoughts now I'm having a sand car? Um, trailer wise, you know, I've, I've had a lot of you guys ask me that question is now it's time for a motorhome, now it's time for an enclose, you know, and I'm going to give you my, my opinion on motorhome versus toy hauler versus fifth wheel and versus if I would buy another attitude trailer again. So a lot of you guys have asked me also, Hey, you know, I'm looking for a toy hauler. Would you buy another attitude trailer? And there's pros and cons to everything I'm gonna tell you right now, as a majority of the time there is. Like here is a pro and con about this car. This car pro, well, I mean, shit, it's got a ton of pros. It's amazing, fast, looks good, you know, badass car. The only con, and it's not that big of a con either, is you need a wide trailer to fit this in. So a car like this, 0% chance this is going to fit in the old ding ding attitude out there no way in hell um i don't even think the front end would fit in this thing it's so big and wide where a car like this which is a lot smaller you know not as wide not as big this thing fits right in with paddles and everything now this car will fit in an enclosed trailer but you have to change the tires and the majority of the time, nobody wants to do that. So um, this car is actually going in an enclosed that is, I'm not gonna say custom built, but custom built in width. It's gonna be a wider. So it's 110 outside where it's 106 inside because this thing's about 100 inches um, the, from that you know end of the paddle to that one. So, and a trailer that's 102, you only got 98. You gotta switch the tires, which sucks. Nobody wants to do that. Um, so that's, you know, that, it's, that's really the only con other than, 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 you know, you having to get a new trailer built, that's it. Now, would I go fifth wheel or would I go bumper pull? Well, so again, pros and cons to both guys. And you know, would I ever buy an attitude again? Pros and cons to both. So first thing I do want to say is right now, and I don't care what anybody says, oh, uh, you know, this company's the best, this company's the best. Listen, I, I have, you know, in my family, uncles that have bought brand new Newmar motorhomes. Brand, I'm talking brand new, 2022. Nothing but problems. Uh, two people I know, they are actually both lemon-lawing their Newmars. So, you know, I'm not gonna say, uh, you know, anything you buy, this company's better. They all, guys, whatever you have or whatever you do, they're gonna have flaws, each of these companies. I don't care what anybody says. It's gonna be very rare for you to purchase a toy hauler. Unless, if you purchase it from someone that's already pretty much got the bugs out of it. So like, you know, my Attitude trailer, I've already got out the, all the bugs out of it. Um, if you get one, you know, where the bugs are out of it, you're good to go. But if you buy brand new, I would highly suggest, if you're like a person like me, where you use a trailer a lot in the winter, you better buy it in the summer and camp out like in your driveway so you can get all the kinks and bugs and everything out of there. Um, that's what I did. But I, I don't care if you go Momentum, you know, Eclipse, uh, Newmar, you know, I, I don't care. I've seen all of them have issues. I have a buddy that's got a Momentum. He says it spent more time in the shop um, than, you know, he's used it. So it all depends also on the person. If you can fix it, if you want to deal with it, you know, if you're handy, if, if you want to fix this or do that. There are pros and cons to so many. So. The main thing is here, am I gonna go motorhome? Well, answer the question first if I'm gonna go motorhome. No, and reason being for no, I would not go motorhome. Well, because 99% of what I do is desert. I don't go cross country. I'm not interested in going cross country. Um, I, 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 you know, we don't even, if we go to the river, we stay at a casino or a house, so. We don't really do that. We use the toy hauler in the summer maybe three times. We go to like camp land once or twice and then thunderbolt races that are coming up. That's it. The other 99% of the time it's desert. So as of right now, I like having the rammer because it's four wheel drive. I can pretty much take this thing anywhere. Also, I like having the attitude trailer. Why I picked attitude was because if you look at a lot of these toy haulers, they have designed they, they look like they have focused more on the desert application than they have in the camping application or the cross-country application 
a world, I should say. I, you know, let's go out there and I'm gonna show you a couple things. Holy moly, boys, it's a hot one today. It's gotta be 100 degrees out here at least. Oof. But luckily we got the attitude over here in the garage in the shade. Oh, and yes, you hear that? So until I finish this garage and these pricing drops so they're not ridiculous, because I want to finish this garage and put air conditioning in it. But until then, I keep the AC on in this whole girl. But I mean, as long as she's out of the sun, that's the main thing. So I forgot where did I leave off to? I remember. So I wanted to show you a few things on this attitude. So, and, and this is what I mean, what I love. First thing about attitude is I love how many lights they have on this thing. Lights here, light bars, uh, you know, lights under the awning. There are lights everywhere on this thing, you know? So when I say they focus on desert. Now, come in here, but they got, you know, they hold a ton of water. Let's kick some lights on. Oof, it's a lot cooler in here. Um, you know, they, uh, I mean, I mean, look, look at the layout. Look at the layout of this thing. And this is the layout I picked. I like this layout. You know, I, I like the huge TV here. I like the TV here. Now, again, would I pick an attitude again? I probably would just because, like I said, I'm a desert person and we go to the desert. But if you do get a brand new trailer, guys, you're going to have flaws. That is just the nature of any trailer. I don't care what anybody says. You're going to have issues with the trailer. you got to fix them. I've never had any real major issues with this thing. Uh, I switched the AC out up front. If you guys remember, so on these attitudes, actually on almost every toy hauler, even some motor homes, the AC unit will be like the one you turn with a knob and it's a 13.5. Well, what I did is this one, we put another 15,000 BTU just like the one up there and we ducted it. So when I kick on this one, I had I put the AC unit right there. When we kick this one on, oh man, it, it gets this living room. I mean, it can get down to, you know, 70 degrees in here instantly. I mean, very, very fast when you kick both on. Um, and the generator, onboard generator, the Onan 5500 ran it no problem. So if you're worried about generators, it's not an issue. Now, another thing I like about this, and this is again, it's a pro and a con, guys. I would like to have both, but it's not going to work for me. Is Look at all these storage I have to pull toys in here. Where the fifth wheels, a lot of the fifth wheels, they have the separate garage, which a pro to that is it's nice. You get to the desert, you just open your slides, you're ready, you don't have to deal with taking the toy out. But the con to that is your living area is so small. It's tiny and those garages, they don't have enough room. So I have from this counter all the way up 16 feet. So my sand car can fit in here. Now, if I had like a momentum where I know they do make some garages that are 18 feet in the momentum. My buddy has one, I saw it, but his living area, you can't even move. It's so small, the living area that's in his momentum with an 18 foot garage is just tiny. I like this big, huge open space, but the con about it is we get to the desert, I gotta get everything out. The kids want their this, and boom, so you gotta unload regardless. You get there early, late, midnight, 2 a.m., I mean, you, you can't do anything. Now, I will admit, when I'm by myself, I'll admit this. Uh, if I got no, no kids, nothing with me, I will actually leave the car or the Can-Am in here and I will just go up front. Uh, this is what's nice also about having the front bedroom. I'll just go up front and I'll crash and sleep. I got a TV in there and I will literally leave the car, I'll open the slides, you know, and I'll leave the car in here. But again, if you're, you know, you got family, you got wife, you got kids, they want it out. They want to watch your TV. You got to cook them dinner. You know, us, throw a little pizza in the microwave. We're good to go. You don't have to put it in the microwave. I'll eat it cold. You know, I don't care. So these are some pros and cons uh, about, you know, having the fifth wheel and having the bumper pull. And uh, if I'm going to purchase an attitude again or not, I would. I'd probably get another attitude uh, just because, you know, we're going, we're doing a lot desert. I really, really wish attitude and these toy hauler companies would start doing full body paint and not these stickers. I think these stickers, they just, they don't look good. They're just dull, they're not shiny. And people are like, oh, well, yeah, we'll ceramic coat it and wax it. Like, really, you can't really ceramic coat a sticker. I mean, I you got nothing there, it's a sticker, you know? So, and they fade fast. Like, this trailer is is in a garage. So if this trailer was outside, just baking in the sun, I mean, you should see my buddies have these attitudes and their lights up here. Let me show you the lights. Newer than mine. So mine is a 2020, his is a 2022, I believe. He's had it for like just under a year. And his lights right there, you should see how yellow and faded they are. I mean, even over here, the same thing, this other big light, it is so faded. I mean, it's like, it looks like yellow. I'm like, dude, what the hell? He's like, yeah, it's just from being it out, you know, being parked outside in uh, the sun, you know? Uh, that's the thing. 
And again, I, I you guys know me. I like the bumper pull. I towed with both, uh, with a Ram, a fifth wheel and a bumper pull. I didn't notice no difference. It was very, very minimal, the difference. This trailer, I can cruise 80 miles an hour towing and I don't feel anything. So to me, I like having the bed of my truck, fill an extra water for the desert, um, you know, put a ton of wood in there. And I don't care what you say, guys, you're not gonna have that much storage compartment in a fifth wheel. I've seen fifth wheels compartment. They're not that big. You can't put a 55 gallon drum of water in there, you know, like, like what I do. Or you can't load the thing, the whole bed full of wood. You can't do that. So, and this has got, you know, a decent amount of storage underneath. It's not that bad, but you're not going to get it like the back of a truck. But I do know a lot of people say they tow way better. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't notice that much of a difference. So that's why I went bumper pull because I like to have the bed of my truck. And what's awesome also, I got an inverter in here so we can literally have no power and still watch TV. Um, you know, she can still use a microwave. You guys, you can do whatever you want because I got 600 amp hours of battery, basically. So I got two huge lithium iron phosphate batteries. Shout out to Charge. Thank you, I appreciate that. And we have a running a GoPower inverter, which that GoPower inverter works awesome. You know, it's really, really cool. Uh, 50 amp inverter, so it runs through, you know, everything is pretty much powered. You don't have to pick like, you know, some circuits you gotta pick on which one you want on, you know? No, this is a dual link, so you can power the whole entire trailer with it obviously if you turn ac or something big on it's gonna pop um, i like my four wheel drive i like the power that's another thing i forgot to mention Dude, this thing i hooked that trailer up i mean i can go up the grades 50 60 70 80 it doesn't stop it just continues and continues to pull where i see these big 500 horsepower you know motor on wow with these you know enclosed ah, going 35 40 45 barely making it up the hill so I like my power and I love my four wheel drive. I just don't want to get rid of a motorhome and toy hauler. For me, I'm only two hours from the desert. I literally, from my house, I get to the desert in less than two hours, like an hour and like 50 minutes. So it's not a far drive for me at all. And like I said, again, I don't go anywhere but the desert. So I'm not interested in a motorhome, guys. And also, we got some goodies for the uh, old buggy over here. So. This 3M is clear bra. We're gonna put some clear bra just right here. So when people get out with their feet, they uh, do not scratch the crap out of this stuff. Um, pretty much sort of like this car. I'm copying, you know, this car. He's got clear bra here because you can see what the sand did. The sand kind of sand blasted it right there. Look at that, look at the difference of that and that. That's what the sand did. So clear bra that. Um, obviously this entire car is clear bra, but uh, over right here, clear bra so on your feet you know smack right here uh so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna do the clear bra we're gonna go clear bra here here up here and i'm not gonna clear bra the entire body because it's not paint i want to get it painted but i don't really care too much it's just powder coat so once we get it painted we'll clear bra the whole thing but uh we got grip tape because here the grip tape's completely off here it's ripped and looks dirty so we've got some uh nice new grip tape that we're gonna put on there uh for your shoe, shoes so you don't slip and we're gonna clear bra once we clear us we're gonna wrap it like right in here uh, overlap it so this panel right here will squeeze it so you're pretty much only gonna feel a seam right on this side uh, you won't feel anything there um, but that's it for the for the sand car right now we're kind of on a standstill because of the dash guys the dash is supposed to be done this week I think by the time you see the video I'll have the dash here but it will be raw it will not be powder coated so we're kind of fitting everything, fitting the screen, fitting the Switch Pro panel, fitting everything in there. And then uh, once everything is done, the holes are made, uh, race radios on the way, we will uh, get it powder coated. Also got some exhaust gaskets right there, uh, just because when I was looking and wiping everything down, I noticed a little like black coming up right here and very little coming up right here, like a little exhaust leak. Um, probably it was minor, but hey, you know what? They're so cheap just replace them anyways those are extra uh, exhaust gaskets right there um, so we replace those this thing has pretty much been almost everything has been replaced except the front part of the motor here which we're going to replace the pulley um, you know all the all the alternator thermostat housing here we're going to get a nice black billet wall and water pump's going to get changed all that stuff so uh, this thing is going to look good and i do want to get a paint job on this car um, i want to get rid of this 420 and I would like to put on there 427, because that's what this is, a 427, a uh, seven liter. So I wanna change this into a 427 instead of a uh, 420 on there. 
That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Yeah.